drop in to the world of Las Asimas. And we have four defeated heroes and four various rumbles. We shall go in the order that we first met them in to start. Talia, what have you been doing? Oh, uh, well, I have been non-stop training just it's been full-on like rocky balboa montage of like going after trees with sword fighting stances i've been dragging boulders with rope just really trying to buff up my strength and my fighting skills because i do not think i should have been defeated but also i have been trying out new ways of trying to launch my great sword as high up and as far as it will go, because that will not happen again. <laughs> I refuse. Um, and also, I have acquired a brand new sword by going on quest after quest, sort of continue to fight all sorts of different quests with different sort of monsters and things after, really, so I have a wide variety of skills to take down who I need to. For this time. Talia, not to be bested by the power of flight again. Never. <laughs> Astonishing, delightful. I love it. Um, brilliant. Rat King, what have you been doing in the last few months? I am so glad you've asked me this question. So, whoa. <laughs> <clears throat> So, so basically, the last couple of months, um, I've kind of gone, I've made a big splash last time at the Rumble, I feel like. I got a lot of new followers on and stuff like that. Um, so I've kind of, I don't want to rag or anything, I've kind of gone down the influencer route with things. Um, I've been, I've been kind of hit lately. Um, and if you must know, I don't want to like plug anything, but I've been working on a novel kind of about my life and the things I've been doing. Um, it's called The Rat Race of the Rumble and it's coming to Barnes and Noble soon. Um, so I'm really excited. I hope you guys check that out. You can give me some Instagram and stuff like that. But yeah, things have been going pretty good for me lately, to be honest. I failed pretty hard last time, if I'm gonna be honest, but the support that came out was like really impressive. So uh, thank you for asking. Does your, does your swarm include your social media followers? Oh my God, <laughs> my social media followers are, are, follow, are my swarm. That's what I call them. When I go on live, I'm like, hey swarm, what's up? Thank, yes, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> I love that. Are you in the swarm? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. That's fine. That's fine. I'll hook you up with Wink. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Delightful. I love this. Um, 10 out of 10. Uh, no less than I expected. Rat King, despite uh, defeat, reveling in all the glory anyway. Oh, yeah. Of course. The spotlight was on me for two seconds. I'm gonna take it, man. Now that now that it is your one hunger, your one drive, must reclaim. Yeah, really. Uh, yeah, this this is like my promotional tour, so so. It's about drive. It's about power. <laughs> we swarm. We devour. <laughs> we swarm. We devour. <laughs> your new, new chant for your for your. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> Pretty good. If you can get a crowd of people to that's no, no that's yeah. really pretty good. I'm gonna drive, it's about power. We swarm, we devour. I that's know I need to think yeah. of cool, cool cheers for my I fans. Had a different one. I had a different one from plant, but that one might change might change it. I'm like the creepy one. Um oh god, yes, I forgot. Whoa. Um but first, let us hear from Zed. How's Ben in the swamps? <laughs> Well, I tell you, ever since uh, I made a show of magnanimity and good faith, Bug was able to talk his dad out of 
building a family-friendly restaurant in a garden full of olives in my swamp. It's uh, good, which is only made the down shame that I have been feeling in defeat uh, sting even harder because I lost and things improved. Uh, uh, which is usually not how things go for uh, for old Zed. It's a it's an anti correlate situation. So well, you know, I've been uh, a nearby art museum for uh, inspiration on on how to deal with these conflicting feelings. Um, and I, uh, you know, I've, I've drawn a. A lot of inspiration from uh, uh, very uh, artists of swamp past, you know, Vincent Van Goop and uh, 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 Pond Monet and uh, uh, a third one. I don't know. I don't have a third one. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, I like to. I like to think that I've um, I've become just like just a little bit more sensitive and in tune with my feelings. And, uh, you know, maybe my first instinct isn't going to be to turn into a velociraptor and bite off somebody's head. Uh, but also, you know, I've heard that we're rumbling again, and I've heard that the guy who beat me beat the person who dropped a building on him. So... I have to uh, re-access all that, uh, uh, that inner fire and, uh, 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 you know, I'm nervous about not if, but when. <laughs> so good. I'm, there's no words. There's no words how delighted I am to hear you're doing well and getting in touch with your uh, artistic side. I don't see yeah, I've, I've picked up supplies. I'm good. <laughs> Uh, maybe, maybe with a win, you can, you know, buy yourself more art supplies. There uh, you go. Open, open a, you know, art wing of the ooze pits. Um, <laughs> delightful. Uh, Pepion, well, what you been doing since you were not only defeated, but stripped in the ring? Well, I can tell you that was very much humiliating. Um, you know, not just losing, but not even losing to the battle, but losing to the arena itself, and also being stripped in the process. Every hit they decided they decided to take more and more of my clothing. So, you know, losing to that very, very depressing. So been really hard knowing that you know, it just isn't what everybody else is so you know it it works you know that's how it goes you know you're a rabbit shifter who has the worst luck in the world so you know it's been normal just thinking things over my desire for know vengeance against the people who did some fun stuff to me but <laughs> you know you learn you think about things you realize oh no there were other things could have done other ways you could have played it other things might have helped you in your favor and you think about all the other things <laughs> that you want to accomplish and so you find the second of the three who, and you take care of him. <laughs> oh, so in the meantime, we're, we're still looking to find out where he went to, but in the meantime, thanks for inviting me back. I'm loving this energy. Oh boy. Yeah. And I thought I was angry. <laughs> This is strong yeah. energy uh, walk. I've been going through a lot, but this guy scares me. <laughs> I love the vibes. You know, I originally intended this as just a, a check-in, generally, you know, God DM to, to characters. I, I feel like instead, <laughs> I feel like what this is actually is like 
Salita got you all in the office and was just inquiring casually what you were all doing, and this is just what what you've unleashed upon one another. Right. It, it, it's just an extremely awkward comic con. <laughs> like, <laughs> just the four, four of you sitting in chairs, one next to the other, and Lena just awkwardly turning from one to the next, like, oh, and what have you been doing? <sighs> My internet is unstable. Hold on a moment while I swap signals. See if, see if Themyscira is kinder. Uh, I just have to say that I play a wild magic barbarian in a, another campaign of mine. I'm a big fan of them. They're very fun. Uh, I legit forgot to add things that I should have. I was playing by Torg rules instead of D&D &D stuff. I was like, I'm using the wrong thing. I went with the wrong thing. I was supposed to do this. <laughs> right, right. You, you, you play with you. You play accidentally with one of those systems where you only do like two points of damage in any turn and in that system that's like near lethal but in D, &D it's like oh that, that kind of sucks actually yeah. damn uh, i was like why how does he have plus eight to his attack i don't understand i only have plus i was not adding proficiency like wait is oh this is oh, not oh, enough oh, oh. <laughs> that's a that's a that wow at any rate i've stabilized so woo we'll say back in the office you all sit across from a, a small uh, ha uh, halfling woman you're familiar with, haggard and frizzy haired and wan stuck wonkies through it. Um, and she's she's just now uh, unsure of who to look in the eye and she feels uncomfortable uh, with all of you. Um, well, you know, we haven't, uh, we haven't really done one of these before. Usually it's just kind of a one try and you're out kind of a thing. Um, but Lady Destiny was uh, intrigued by the notion of having some of you back and um, giving you another shot. Uh, so today we actually have quite an interesting proposition. Um, you all are of course familiar with our training room downstairs where we usually do a nice skills demo. Um, now I know none of you have competed with one another before, but hopefully you have, um, there's, an, there's a better chance you've at least witnessed uh, some of your competitors play before. So we're going to do something a little differently. Instead of just an individual skills demo, it's going to be kind of more of a collective skills demo. Um, I've kind of beefed up our favorite straw man. And um, yeah, it's going to be a, uh, a fight to the finish. Whoever can destroy him, whoever really gets the finishing blow, is actually going to get an added bonus of a kind of secret nature in the rumble. So just to give today a little bit more kick, um, that's that's what that's what we're gonna do. Um, of course, you will have just signed the usual contracts, so and so you will be revived at the end, but it will be a battle to finish. You must kill three of your competitors, or the ring will. And uh, I have seen the drafts. It's gonna be good. Oh, I can't wait for you all to see what awaits you on the battlefield. But in the meantime, let's go downstairs. So she ushers you out of the office, down down the spiral staircase, descending cool stone. Uh, although there's an odd, for those of you with higher perception levels, you might get a just a little scent of um, almost like ozone and sulfur, wafting up from the battlefield arena further down below. Um, it's a strange scent, one that may be more familiar to some players than others. But uh, at any rate, you are led into the same side chamber um, with uh, with padded white walls, white floor, scattered workout equipment, discarded weaponry lining the walls, rusty and gross and not really usable, but there for practice if you need it. Uh, and in the center of the room, uh, Selena waves her wand and from, from the same spot where during each of your individual trials, you 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 know encountered a fairly standard stuffed straw straw man, T arms, one stick up the middle, one one stick crosswise for 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 arms as they were. Um, what pops up from the floor doesn't so much spring into place as the the, the uh, other straw dummy did. It it kind of more 
just huge, massive, 15 foot fall, tall, beefy straw man awaits you. Bigger, better, stronger. Um, the rock of straw men uh, awaits you now, standing firm, tall. His poles look more like trees, um, erect full in the center of the room. So Salida says, well, so now if you will all uh, scatter around um, and roll for initiative. All right, here we go. <laughs> Natural 20, baby. Oh, heck yeah. Dirty 20. Oh. Um, brilliant. So we're gonna have Zed and Talia. Uh 16. Oh, um, oh, I thought you got the dirty. Who got the dirty 20? Was it Haley? Yeah. Brilliant. Rat King. So Zed, Rat King, Talia. Unless Kavika, did you get higher than 16? 18. Ooh, very good. Never mind. Sorry, Talia. 16 was pretty good, but not good enough. I rolled bad. I rolled a seven. Oh gosh. I feel like I'd want to be closer to the end of this for this challenge, though. Potentially. Um great. All right. Zed, you are up first. I have uh, a man ahead of you. What would you like to do? I will immediately uh uh <laughs> sniff at this uh, uh sniff at this straw man it's he's clearly made of straw yeah i mean it's, it's, again the sticks this time are, are are almost more like like telephone poles in the sense of like they're they're pretty thick um it's sturdy like canvas fabric creating the body and the head um and then yes clearly packed firm with straw uh, amazing um yeah then I am going to look at this thing and just say, well, I think I've just found a new way to constructively uh, let out my uh, anger. And he's just going to like reach into his bag and like very carefully like place a couple of like pretty expensive looking like tubes of paint and and like a palette like off to the side so they don't get damaged. Uh, and then uh, look to the side and just go, all right, nothing personal. And uh, is going to uh, use bonus action to wild shape into a Deinonychus. So just full copyright infringement, uh, uh, Jurassic Park screen. Uh, and uh, uh, charge at this thing. Um, going to make a uh, let's see, uh, a, a claw attack first. That is a uh, uh, a 13 to hit. That'll just about do it. Um, and then that is um, a Uh, uh, and then that is a nine points of damage. Uh, and if it could make a strength saving throw, that would be cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it'll make a strength saving throw of five. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry to say that it is Nox prone. Um, it will then uh, uh, will then make my next two attacks with advantage. Uh, that is a- Okay, 20. I will argue, yeah. it is not quite a creature in the sense of, it's going to take actually doing enough damage to knock a pole out of the ground. So Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Totally fair. totally fair. Totally fair. Uh, uh, second attack is a bite. That is a uh, 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 so sorry. Just doing raw math here. Uh, that is a straw man argument. Ah, this guy gets it. Uh, Fired. <laughs> Uh, that is a 23 to hit for um, uh, 13 points of damage. Weirdly, and... that misses. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it was Crazy. too high. <laughs> uh, and then a 21 to hit for uh, six points of damage. Fantastic. So uh, you all see, um, gosh, I should have had you describe yourselves to one another. Uh, would you mind Zed taking this opportunity to... to sure. Uh, 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 prior to turning into uh, uh, Spielberg's art director's best efforts, um, uh, <laughs> and, uh, he is uh, very tall, very broad, uh, sort of like 
uh, greenish, uh, greenish skin uh, with sort of like grayish undertones, big, uh, uh, like not at all filed down, like orc, sort of like warthog kind of tusks. Um, uh, and uh, his outfit is sort of like made of like matted fur and like mud, like moss and leaves and stuff, but has the sort of cut of like a kind of like a dorky park ranger kind of a situation. Uh, and he's got like a big wide brimmed uh, uh, sun hat. <laughs> yeah, and so, big- so you see this grizzled orc of a park ranger just, and, and it's weird, like the tusks dissolve and then immediately come forward as they evolve into dino, like snout and teeth situation, the matted furs, kind of get more matted and then suddenly slide into scales and just Deinonychus erupts from uh, the Hulk Hogan of druids. Um, (laughs) And and then bite, claw, claw, suddenly tearing at the, I I assume going for the kind of the chest area of the- Just real real center of mass, you know, know, uh, pounce, claw, bite, claw, and then uh, uh, we'll sort of like run away and start uh, circling. As, as if your your prey might move to any moment. Right, yes, yeah. <laughs> I will say, um, you are surprised to find, having having attacked this straw man before and kind of expecting a, a, a fairly flimsy uh, creation, it almost seems, you are a druid, you would know these things, almost seems maybe arcanic, arcanically, arcana, arcanally, with arcane magic, it has been <laughs> stronger. Uh, uh, it's <laughs> Big tough yeah. boy. It's uh the, the 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 canvas material of the chest is is almost fortified and and though you you do tear into it, it's not as it's not like a hot knife through butter as you kind of expected. You expected dino claws to just shred the heck out of this straw man. You've put damage into it, not as much as you would have thought. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh uh, you know, i I I will sort of Quizzically growl to myself as I <laughs> <laughs> drop away. Yeah. Very good. Rat King, a dinosaur has appeared. What would you like to do? That's sick as hell, first of all. Oh, a thank dinosaur? You. <laughs> that shit didn't happen on mine. This is fun. I like that. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to take a second. I'm gonna Okay, wait. This is not Rat King asking. Is this guy in the ground? He's stuck in the ground. It is. Or? It it is. It has like sprung forth out of the, almost on like like a hinge section, but you can see like it the the pole extends into the ground. It seems all right. Um, does it look like it would? Never mind. That's too complicated. I'm not even gonna ask. <laughs> does it look like I you could drop a fortress on it and it would suddenly squish? Yes. <laughs> I was gonna. I was going to cast a thorn whip, and I was going to ask if it would slam into the ground if I cast that. As, like as it has said, a spring, yeah, and that would so cause it damage. That seems you, like you could you could you could use that, and I would consider that as a like a damage to it, and you could work it towards going prone. But it is not currently probably not going to do that. It's not like knocking somebody's feet out from under them. It's a full. Yeah, thing. that seemed a little bit complicated. You're still looking um, thorn with it. Whip it good. Um, I think instead. I'm going to cast spike growth. <laughs> under it. <laughs> I don't want anyone else to hit it very easily, and I would like to win the extra little things. So yeah, it's gonna be a 20-foot radius centered at a point with a range. So there's going to be hard spikes and thorns around it. Okay. And it'll suddenly do... spikes erupt around. And these would do damage if it was to a creature. I would say it might it might take at least a little damage to the base of it. It doesn't take any damage actually. Oh. Because you need to move through them oh. for it to cause damage. All right. No damage is done. Congrats. Awesome. Um, giant thorns erupt around the base of the uh, giant straw man. Cool. This is so fun. I'm gonna cast Shillelagh as well as my bonus action, and then I'm done. Amazing. Uh, and your Shillelagh, does it does it have a particular form, or is it just a giant stick? Oh, it's just my stick, man. Right. I didn't does know it? scepter or something. 
No, it just look it like glows a little bit, sure, like magic, but no, it's just my staff. Oh, okay. Great. Uh I kept it simple, baby. Love it. <laughs> um fantastic. Uh Pepion, there's a dinosaur and a circle of spikes. What would you like to do? Uh, well, um, first of all, to describe Papillon to you, um, so... Oh! Oh, do you want to go I first? King, would you like... I forgot to do that! <laughs> I forgot to ask. I look like a little king man with blonde hair, and I'm... Kind of <laughs> That's it. I'm a little little king. So just a, a just little like... lad who loves berries and cream kind of a no, situation? No, he's not a lad. He's a king. <laughs> a, bear, 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 bear. a little king who loves berries and cream. <laughs> berries more, and cheese. More, more, a little... Yeah, a little king who loves rats and cheese is kind of what I'm going ah. for. Yeah, so anyway, okay. it's simple. You can figure it out. Go ahead. <laughs> so Papillon looks like a more bestial humanoid. Um, he doesn't exactly have ra uh, rabbit ears yet, but they are like tufted out. So, you know, he's definitely not human. Um, he's oh. also wearing a uh, red... <laughs> Uh, jacket and a kind of torn and at this point charred shirt. It did come back. Um, it, it got revived with him. Yeah, um, the druids brought back your shirt. <laughs> thank you. Clerics. Um, uh, and he's carrying around a halberd. Um, oh, and he has a large black top hat. And a um, Because that I forgot that floated on the top of the lava at the end of the last one. <laughs> just for just for flavor, it was just there floating along the top of Somehow the lava. Somehow immune to lava, the top hat. <laughs> yeah, you know, it happens. Um, but so the first thing he's going to do is uh, he's going to laugh at the situation that, of course, the person decides to put something in front of me that uh, I have to attack this uh, thing and now I'm going to get hurt doing it. Thank you a whole lot. Of course, just my luck that it would go after you for doing this. Um, so he, um, I'm hoping, I still get to use the butcher's bib? Yeah, it was, I, I had said, I don't know if you heard me, but in your description, you should also include that you're wearing a gross apron. Okay, so, um, <laughs> Seeing as he doesn't want to um, be disrobed by somebody else, he takes off the jacket and he takes off his shirt. Um, he's just going to do that immediately. And then he puts on a the butcher's bib, which is just an apron that is just covered in like blood. Um, so, and then- Plotting. <laughs> and then, uh, he is going to, uh, rather than rage, he's going to go into his madness. Um, so let the wild magic take over as he starts laughing maniacally, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fun part is the luck does work sometimes. Um, so after rolling on my wild magic table, um, lights start to swirl his body. Uh, in which he realizes, crap, I can't hold it in. And so he actually has to take off the butcher's bib for a second as a bolt of light shoots out from his chest, Care Bear style, um, <laughs> shoots right at the, um, at the scarecrow, um, in which the scarecrow needs to make a constitution saving throw. It do, it's, it's zero. It does not. It has a scarecrow. <laughs> it's hardy, but it's not in that. Cool. Sense. So he takes. Okay. He just takes three points of radiant damage. So you see this huge eruption of light, and the canvas kind of gets singed. <laughs> so that is my bonus. Oh. Yep, that happens. So he puts the butcher bib back on. Grabs that. Please stop applauding. <laughs> Runs towards the um, scarecrow, and yep, yeah, he's just going to jump into melee, get right in there in melee range, and wail on it. I assume Wait, first you have to make some kind of. Uh... I think I just take damage. Well, you, you just take damage. damage. What's the, what's the damage off the spikes? 
So you go right up to the damn thing? Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's going to be... It's 2d4 piercing damage for every 5 feet, so 2... 8d4 damage? Yeah. Wait. Yeah. 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 Would you like me to roll that, or...? Yeah, it's your spikes. Damn. Off. Thank God something else is doing the math. 18. Half because I'm ra uh, raging. Ah, uh, bunny mm. bear. Another thing I forgot last time. A little briar rabbit just goes running. You forgot the half. <laughs> That's like the best part of being a barbarian. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, I can take a picture if you want. No, That's I believe. Great. So a like mighty blow. This, it, it did this the same thing last time, but then in the actual battle, like I couldn't roll anything. Um, so I just crit. Spam. Um, which, of course, me. Oh, I crit on a nineteen or a twenty. Yay. Um, um, so we're just gonna do a lot, don't we? Well, yeah. not much. For that. Okay, which one of these is actually my D ten? The one that only goes up to 10. Yeah, also only uh, so I rolled a seven. Okay. And let's see what Plus. I add. <laughs> uh, just that. So I guess that would be. We have proficiency to those, or is that just attack? Roll, not damage. Uh, depends on your weapon. You should you should have something to add from your weapon. If that was the question you're asking. But you you have glitched out, so I'm not totally sure. Oh. What I wrote it down on my paper, but then I didn't. I don't have it on the the computer one. I'm like, oh well. Let's just say it was a. Uh, Nine. Sure. Make it up. Double it. Because because crit. 18. Woohoo. In this game, the points are totally made up and the plot does not matter, but it's fun. <laughs> oh, bonus to strength attacks. Plus two. I forget. Yeah. Barbarian, so marvelous. Yes. So you take a mighty my, my, you just run through these spikes, and Rat King is and probably everybody surprised to notice uh Papillon doesn't seem to care much about the big spiky spikes. Um and then, and then takes a hefty blow with the halberd and a uh, halberd. And um, wait, where exactly on the straw boy were you attacking? Oh, the neck. Oh, very good. So it takes a hefty uh, chunk out of the um, kind of shoulder area in the sense of it does split the canvas open. Some good straw goes flying out. Um, and I think with such a blow, you might also notice you kind of you kind of hit the cross section, and you certainly didn't go through it. Uh, and yeah, you really get the feeling like, these are some mighty strong poles holding this 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 guy up this time. Because this is no weak link. Um, yeah, top of the order. Wait, first there's a legendary action. No, I'm just kidding. Um, straw man does nothing. He does power word kill. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Finger of death. Yeah. Uh, the ground beneath the straw man shakes and all the little straws of hay come out from... Anyway. Um, <laughs> Zed, it's your turn again. Oh, I didn't go. Wait. Oh, you're, I've to, I totally skipped Talia. Talia okay. What do you want to do? Um. Uh, first, I will describe Talia. So, uh, Talia is a five foot eleven, uh, uh, big beefy human woman. Uh, she has a strength of nineteen. Um, you don't have strong. to tell people your stats. Big, big and strong. No, it makes it hot. It makes it hot. Don't worry. Thank you. It. Thank you. She's very hot. She's very hot. Um, and uh, she has a uh, sort of long brown that goes to amber on one side. Other side is shaved. Um, she has one sort of golden brown eye, and then her right eye has a big red scar through it, and it's all cloudy. Uh, she wears uh, all black, uh, black studded uh, leather armor. Um, black boots she has dagger strapped to thigh 
Um, the only color on her is she has this dark midnight blue cloak with gray fur lining and a silver dragon pin right in center. And uh, you see strapped through her back is a big old great sword. Um, and uh, she looks at dinosaur. <laughs> she looks at spikes and she goes, are you fucking kidding me? A dinosaur and where are you getting these people? What happened to good old fashioned sword fighting? I don't, I don't understand. Um, is there like spaces between the spikes or is it just like 20 feet covered in spikes? I think it's since thorns and spikes. Damage. Yeah. Okay. You'd have to go like really over horrible. it. You can't run through it. Yeah. Is the implication of the. Okay. Sword. Um, the straw man has arms, right? Yes. How high up are the arms? Uh, if he's 15 feet, that would be like, what, 11-ish? Wherever your shoulders sit in proportion to your body? Yeah. Would I be able to use my oh. movement to jump up and grab on to one of the arms? You can certainly try. It's a 20-foot radius of spikes, yes? Yeah, so you have to leap... 20 feet across, and then also like up, because he's in the middle of it. So I, I'm actually planning on doing that exact thing on my next turn. So I have the, I have the jump A calculator plus B up. Squared equals C squared. If you uh, uh, if you want me to punch it, crunch some numbers for you. <laughs> yeah, what's uh, what's the triangle side of that? Wait, can somebody actually do the math? That's so fun. <laughs> I, I, I can't do the Pythagorean theorem math, but I can tell you how far you'd be able to jump into the spikes without taking damage before oh, you have cool. then have to keep moving. I mean, square root of God. Eleven up. I can't oh, fuck. It's eleven up. I, 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 have I don't. Square. I don't know what that makes it. <laughs> we can't do math. It's D and D. It's I'm too gay to do math. Okay, <laughs> aren't we all? Uh, let's say 15, because the arms are sticking out a bit, so you have to jump, like, basically about 15 feet, but some of that is vertical and some of that is horizontal movement. Sure. So I have 30 about feet of 20 movement. Feet. Great. I was close. I have 30 feet of movement, so I will uh, jump up and try to grab on the straw man arm. Make uh, either acrobatics or um, athletics. I will do athletics. No, you don't want to flip like Yoda? <laughs> no. Are you fucking kidding me? Um, it is a 10. Oh, well, that's not as bad as it could have been. Um, so you all see the the beefy woman um make a she just kind of revs like she's gonna take a good flying leap at it. And she does take a great flying leap at it. And, and you kind of like brush the canvas, but the problem is you definitely jumped at the arm that Papillon had hit. So like you were reaching for that like shoulder joint and just grab hay, grab hay and fall into a spiky pit, which means not only are you gonna take some fall damage, but you're also definitely gonna take the spikes. Could I try to, cause I have a dagger and a thigh ulcer, could I try to pull out the dagger and stick it into the straw person to try and catch me? We're not because we're playing fast and loose. Sure. <laughs> also, cool. you, get two, you get two attacks, don't you? So we'll consider that's like your second attack. I do get two attacks. Yes. You did like a jump attack, and now you're doing a knife attack. Dagger. Okay, I'll take it. Okay. See, first, see if you hit, and then I'll make. We'll oh, see if you make a straight yeah, yeah. Check to sure. see if you can. Um, All right. Like latch yourself in there. Uh, seventeen. Okay, great. So you're able to whip out your dagger and. Drive it into the body. Make a strength cool. check to see if it takes root and holds you in there. It's all right. You can say it's high. Check or saving throw? Uh, saving throw. Okay. Twelve. Hmm. Your dagger delightfully cuts through, so you're dealing some damage to it. Sure. But as your dagger slides through, you you find <laughs> perches other than straw, and you. <laughs> so you're only gonna take a little bit of fall damage. Okay. I always try to do cool things and it doesn't work because I'm shitty at rolling dice. <laughs> no, that's me. Yeah. And then Rat King, would you roll some spiky damage, please? Yeah, I'll just do the 2d4 because that's every five feet, so I just imagine landing at it is 2d4. 
I'm not taller. I'm almost six feet, but not quite. That was so. seven. <laughs> I did too good on those rolls. That's okay. So you're going to take 10 total damage. Okay. Just a wee bit of fall damage, because you're not falling from all that far. Yeah. You you just hear you just hear Talia land the spikes and go, ow! That fucking hurt. Precisely. Damn, that was the point. Mm. You are also fired for making another jo- a pun. No, that took me way too long to get. I just got that. <laughs> oh, that was a pun. Yeah, oh, that no. you're rehired. <laughs> yeah, that was a pun on purpose. <laughs> Um. All right. Well, so I, am I? Have I been knocked prone as well? Just in the spikes. You are prone in the spikes. All right. Uh, how I'm much did I do? Any, do you need to know how much damage the dagger does? Uh, sure. It's a a d four plus four. So should I roll for it? Yeah. Give me a okay. Roll. Ooh. Four plus four, eight points of damage. Really? I did something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you you, you you cut through the canvas. You did a good, you did a good job. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, now we're top of the order. Uh, Zed, seeing the uh, uh, vast field of spikes and watching people just fucking impale their toes as they, uh, uh, as they walk through, um, uh, uh, will sort of like walk back and do one of those sort of like, like cat getting ready to pounce, like wiggle things, uh, <laughs> uh, get a, a 10 foot head start uh, and then leap a uh, truly ridiculous distance. Um, uh, and those uh, casually observing might be able to recognize that uh, in spite of being mostly a, uh, a, a, as you would expect, not clothing wearing uh, a Deinonychus, this Deinonychus also happens to have a very robust and well-carved uh, belt around his waist that you did notice around uh, uh, Zed's waist as well, uh, which uh, might be making him pretty strong. Uh, uh, leaps across these spikes, um, will land like right next to the, uh, uh, right next to the scarecrow. So. Uh, uh, Haley, if you wouldn't mind rolling a couple of uh, 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 spike growth damages uh, as well, that would be be pretty sweet. (laughs) That's only three. Oh, great. I feel bad. It's like stubbing your toe, your big dino toe. Uh, And I took the the liberty of rolling uh, 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 during uh, uh, Morgan's turn. Uh, It is a 25 to hit a 21 to hit and a 15 to hit. All hit. For a total of 33 points of damage. Wolf, and another bite claw claw combination? Yeah, bite claw claw, yeah. Spectacular, you said 20 how many? 33. 33, oh, excuse me. Spectacular. So in a flurry of hay and canvas and even a little bit of uh, wood, chips come flying out as this dinosaur tears into the the straw man. Spectacular. Uh, You just hear Tali on the ground just go, well, this is just fucking unfair. This- Yeah, no, you are getting coated in fabric and hay shreds. Sawdust and, you know. I imagine just a big piece of the fabric falls on her as she's laying down and just she's like a ghost under a sheet. Um, and uh, as my as my bonus action, uh, I'm gonna uh, expend a first level spell slot to roll my uh, to heal myself for a, a d8's worth of uh, a d8's worth of damage. Um, I think I might it might be overkill uh, uh, on the averages, but we'll uh, uh, we'll see. Um, I heal myself for, oh, one, only one, hilarious. Uh, so I, my wild shape is two hit points down. Uh, uh, incredible. <laughs> Spectacular. Uh, yeah. Sandy Cho, um, your toe hurts slightly less. Yes. Uh, Rat King. I hate to be a prick. That one was on purpose. <laughs> but remember like the thorn whip thing I said earlier? <laughs> yeah. 
Like he slams, like he slams down. Yeah. Can I do that like onto the spikes and he takes a little extra damage? You certainly can. There's also two other people around the spikes right now. I know, I'm thinking about slamming him onto the people and the spikes at the same oh, time. Oh, kind of yeah, you, you can certainly try. And I will say, yeah. Straw Boy, not looking so great right now. This is kind of fun. Um, Like, who's who would get hit the most by this straw guy? Like, what's it looking oh, like? Oh, for sure, Talia, because she's laying down next to it. Well, that feels kind of mean. <laughs> you fucked her up pretty good. Dolly's just gonna go, it's very mean, and if you do it, I will kill you. Can I? It's like Rat King's, guy? like, mo you know, monologuing to himself in the corner. Like, <laughs> he's, this is all out loud. There's a reason I'm using the character voice. No, what about it's that fine, one? Choose guy? me. I'm used to it. <laughs> yeah, he's like shirtless, and it was kind of weird. He had like a robe on or something. It was a lot. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna thorn whip this guy down a couple times on him because I've got two attacks. Great. So, yeah, so you're thorn whipping the straw man or Pepion? Yeah, it pulls him oh, great. towards me, but because it's an odd thing, it slams yeah. down onto the spikes. So hey, do you, okay. just. Does you do you get to attack twice with Thorn Whip as you scale up? That's so cool. <laughs> I never knew I that. Have just two attacks per action. Sort of. Oh. Okay. All right. That would be sick, though. Anyway. <laughs> so you go Whomping um, Willow on the. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's gonna be oh shit. <laughs> one's a twenty-two and one's a nat twenty. So. That'll that'll do it. That will do it. I'm so, yeah. All right. So we'll say your first thwap cuts, not necessarily through the uh, like the the pole, mm -hmm. but almost more it impacts the mechanics that allowed it to spring up from the ground. So I can't do it twice. Oh no, you can do it twice. You just okay. I think your second blow is what really does it. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, well, I didn't consider mechanics of like you trying to knock the feet out from under the straw man. Um, well, I'm trying to hit his head and pull him down onto the spikes. Oh, face, I misunderstood. Face. Yeah, because I've got 30 feet of range, so I should be able to get his head with the Pythagorean. Get his head, arrow. but I, I would say it depends on what you're trying to do. Because if you go for the head, you're going to be more likely to actually pull the head off the body. If you wanted to, well, I guess that's not going to kill him. Is it? Going for the base would be what to do. Okay, sure. I'll do the base. Is that going to slam him down or no? That—that's what I was trying to reward you with for that net twenty. Okay, cool, done. Sorry, just clear. Right, no, you're good. I just misunderstood your intent. Um, but if that works for you, I think if I you wanted to hit the base of it and take people. out the mechanics that allowed it to spring, then you're gonna full on like Mongo oh, too. Knock, knock the giant down. Yeah, that'd be great. Brilliant. Uh, so your thorny vine thwomps the base of the straw man twice, and you all hear a, a groaning creak as brackets tear out of place, and straw man goes falling. And I'm actually going to say, <laughs> let's randomize which direction it goes in. I'm pretty far away, because I didn't get in those fucking spikes like these guys. <laughs> nope, you're great. Let's find out who's not. This is how we start the match. One of us just dies. <laughs> <laughs> and with a groaning creak, it's almost as if the straw man decided, as if it was sentient and could think, you know who's really hurt me the most lately? A damn dinosaur. <gasps> and having yeah! done so much damage to it, actually, that might have even contributed to the direction in which it falls. But with a great crashing thud, the uh, the straw man falls upon Zed. Yeah, a big, a big loud screech, and then in yellow text underneath my face, it just says, "Ah, curse my hubris." <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna take curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. Ten points of damage is the mighty, thick, thick boy. Mighty thick boy. Thick with three C's. Yes, the many C's. You said ten. Yes. Okay. And you are prone beneath it. At this point, Salida goes. 
You know, I'm not sure I really thought this through. I guess that technically counts as a defeat. As you have not really destroyed this straw man, but you did knock it over and take out a competitor. Uh, we, we shall declare this for the Rat King. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I put my phone and I start streaming it. Guys, you wouldn't believe what just happened. Swarm, I won. Just one little one, but I'm just saying, if you want to come to the roleplay, I'm going to kick some ass. I this think my pants are torn now, too. This does not wild, like, it does not knock me out of wild shape, but I do, like, choose to uh, return to orc form under the scarecrow. And mm -hmm. as you start going live, you just hear, like, a very subtle little, like, bing from inside uh, Zed's. <laughs> Please tell me that when it fell on top, it just, the only thing that stuck out were the dino arms and legs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Full wicked witch of the east, like whichever combination of like arms, legs, and tail to stick out from underneath it is With the fun. Just a little thrill of dino. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say I was gonna get banned for Instagram from nudity for nudity. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. As as it captures sight of Papillon in the background examining his split crotch, um, you do get it. You your your account Instagram. does get flagged. Um, <laughs> <laughs> content warning for nudity. Uh, <laughs> He takes the Do you have a tailor? Jesus here? Christ. Do you actually? Uh, yeah. If you just wouldn't mind putting away your lucky rabbits. Um, but, uh, well, <gasps> let's wrap this up, shall we? He's still got the butcher's bib on. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Nothing else. Just the butcher's bib. Just Winnie the Pooh in it. <laughs> Is it Winnie the Pooh in it? If it's the Donald or Donald Duck in it? <laughs> yeah. Don't. Yeah. Anywho, uh, well, Selena says in a fluster, uh, th th here, let me just, and then just little wave the magic wand, Mondo, the, the giant straw man, thwomps off of, the, of Zed's body, uh, and back into position as magically, uh, it is locked back into place, a little worse for wear, um, spikes, I assume, eventually dissipate. So that you oh yeah, my concentration's over freely. the second I started streaming. Oh great! <laughs> yeah, going going live is a concentration spell for sure. Oh, yeah. oh. it is, of course. Uh, you have to be attuned to all of your different apps. Um, <laughs> I still haven't decided on a name for the magical network of of interwebs. I've introduced too many, too many. Yeah, things. now we've got magical stones of far seen as well as. Speech. Yeah. Um, sorry for introducing technology and cell phones into your. I'm sorry. I'm just thinking like uh, the Rat King pulled out a literal brick, and it's just. Um... <laughs> Anywho, uh, uh, Selena escorts you all out. The little worse for wear. Sends sends you know staff clerics and paladins to your individual green rooms to to heal revive you. Papillon gets a visit from a, a wizened little. Uh, uh, gnome tailor to, to fix your pants um they also offer to you know fix all your other clothes if you'd like but choice is yours um their magical tailor skills can whip whatever you need into place uh and you all as you did before you have an afternoons of rest after your um shenanigans in the training room uh rat king you will um you will discover your reward uh, after the rumble itself. I love a reward. I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> this is... Yeah. Uh, and yeah, you have a full rest before you have to fight one another. You have a meal. You have a place to hang out, sharpen weapons, do what you need. Um, and ready yourself for Revenge of the Crit! I'm so excited. Bum, 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 bum. Bum. <laughs> it's gonna be great.